Okay, I know it looks complicated. Sorry, my nose is plugged up. And this thing is dirty. But, uh, so the air comes in through here. This custom 4-inch intake tube. Into the supercharger. Out that pipe. These are made out of TIG welded aluminum 3-inch tubing. Through here. Into this air-to-air -air intercooler which is, uh, this one's actually designed for a very large turbo application because it's so hot here in Arizona, like yesterday it was 110. Then it goes out through here, down that tube, up again, and then into here. So we made it very complicated looking. So to me, uh, we could have just had like a straight shot in, in, into the intercooler. Uh, but it just it wouldn't have looked as cool. Um, and there's only a, a, a there's a bolt there and a bolt there, and then that pops off, so it takes just a minute to take off. Um, this I haven't had to take off since I put it on, um, other than to change the air filter, and there's just one screw there. Um, and then uh, you've got a throttle body. So the way that this kit originally we had to majorly customize it um, the way this kit came originally was there was a supercharger bolted to the motor with uh, just machined plates with bolt heads we took those plates off had new ones machined rounded so they were smooth chrome plated so they're easy to clean and then to put stainless steel recessed allen heads into here so it was again easy to clean you can imagine if those were all hex head bolts and you go to clean it, you're banging your knuckles every time you touch it. So we fixed that. So from the factory you have, uh, from the Vortec factory anyway, you've got these brackets. Not that pulley. That's custom. It's a custom tensioner that we built for this, and it works perfect. So there was an outlet here. There was a big aluminum box that went on top of a carburetor. And so the, the air went from there right into there. So that created a problem when we brought the car to Arizona because the air temperature going into the motor was 300 plus degrees. Um, and now with the intercooler, it's kind of neat. You can sit in the passenger seat when someone's driving with a laptop hooked up and you can see the air temperature on the laptop. And as soon as you touch the throttle and let the RPMs come up, uh, the temperature actually drops instead of goes up. Um, so it's doing its job, and so um, the last time I checked, it was like a 90 degree day, and we hit the throttle, and the temperature dropped from like 120 down to like 96. So it's really close to ambient air temperature. So it's very, very effective and very efficient. Um, so yeah, that's that's essentially how this motor works. Um, it has uh, power disc brakes, so I kept the master cylinder brake booster and whatnot. Um, which works fine. It locks up the front brakes. I kept the windshield wipers too. I got kind of got shit for that when I originally built the car because it was common to smooth the firewall completely. And uh, but I wanted this to be a street car, uh, a real street car you could drive. And so we kept the windshield wipers, as you can see. So anyway, um, hopefully that video illustrates uh, better what's going on um this that's the transmission cooler so um no i'm sorry that's the air conditioning condenser this this thing doesn't have an air uh, a trans cooler on it now that I, now that i think about it because it has a trans temperature gauge on it and we never had a problem with the transmission overheating so um the transmission that's in here is out of a general motors truck which is what it's originally designed for so it's called a 4l80e it's a it's a large transmission but again, I went for durability, which is another reason why this car has a Ford 9-inch in the back. Um, I didn't want things breaking um, because we were putting, for a small block, this thing puts out an enormous amount of power considering the cubic inches uh, especially. So um, everything, everything inside the motor is, <laughs> there's no General Motors parts in there. Everything is uh, aftermarket. So it's got a dart block. It has airflow research aluminum heads on it. It's got uh, Scorpion uh, uh, anodized roller rockers. Um, it has a stud girdle in there. It has an Excel. That's an Excel DFI intake. It's a 1,000 CFM throttle body. 
um, 52 pound injectors. Um, it has a Cali's crank, uh, Eagle H beam, uh, shot peen rods. It has uh, JE custom forged pistons. Uh, the rods are six inch instead of uh, five seven. Um, so it has a, a effectively what it, what that does is it it uh, makes the engine rev quicker. Um, and uh, let me see what else. Um, those valve covers are custom. Uh, they're they're sand cast aluminum that we ground all the sand casting off, polished them on a polishing wheel, and then sent them off and had them chrome plated. Um, so, and then I put four breathers on there, mostly for looks. You really only need one per side, but the reason I did that is, uh, you know, when you, when you have a supercharged engine, you build a fair amount of crankcase pressure. And so that's one place that it can be released. Um, we have an MSD distributor in the back. That's a billet distributor. The MSD box, uh, and transmission controller and all that is inside the glove box. So the glove box isn't functional. That's, it's got, uh, all the computer equipment inside there. So anyway, I think, I think that's about as much as I'm going to get. Um, this is all handmade custom suspension. Those are Carrera coilover shocks. Um, everything is set pretty much perfectly for the stance of the car right now. So. Everything's kind of on point. Um, that's a custom serpentine system setup, um, but yet very easy to get the belt. Um, it's uh, worked perfectly um, since we since we built it. That's a that's what they call a blow off valve. In case you're wondering, um, more you see it in some supercharger applications. Usually, if it, if the supercharger is on top of the motor, the the blow off valve is on the back of the supercharger. Um, and on a centrifugal supercharger, which is this is essentially all that is is a belt driven turbo. Um, we also used a lot of times you'll see a serpentine belt on here. It doesn't work at all. Uh, so we had this custom setup built. So this is actually a Vortec pulley here, but a Procharger pulley down there. And that's a Procharger blow off valve because uh, Vortex blow off valve was ugly. Uh, and this one actually is much more effective. It flows a lot more air. Um, so what happens is you see a vacuum line on there. So as soon as the throttle blade shut, there's a valve. It looks like a big intake, um, you know, like an intake valve on a head. It pops open and, and you'll hear it go, Phew! it'll blow off pressure. Uh, that's so you don't destroy the throttle body. So otherwise, if you think about it, you'd let off the gas, but the supercharger is still, you know, uh, throwing off pressure. It would be bouncing back against the throttle body. So this is just like a release valve for the pressure when you let off the throttle. So hopefully that explains everything. All right. Have a great day.